Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the November 1st meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. Uh, I'd like to announce that we're on Lake Cam tonight. And to start out, because we are still a relatively new committee, we go around and introduce ourselves and who we represent, whether it be a community, uh, member at large or representing a board or another committee. So, sure. Susan Spieler and I'm a member at large. Barbara Standish, member at large. Nancy Yates, Conservation Commission. Uh, Amy Knox, Open Space. Nancy Lefebvre, His Lakeville Historical Commission. All right, great. Okay, so um, we voted that these handouts at the Arts Festival were only for handouts at the Arts Festival. So I'd like to go over them again, especially the um, brochure, which came out really nice. I think when we looked at it and voted, it was only for the festival. It didn't look this nice, um, but thank you, Barbara. She fixed it to make it look really nice. Um, so let's start with that. And I, I just, because we voted, Oh, it's funny. I have one of the ones that came out upside down. I do too. Yeah, we me do too. too. Yeah. yeah, we have a whole stack. That, that's probably why I saved these out because we have a whole stack <laughs> that came out right. Um, I think we should be able to continue to hand them out. I mean, they're done. There's plenty of them that look right because the arts festival, as we all know, was pouring rain all day and we had barely, what, maybe five people that came to our booth. Um, so I just think we need to vote because we voted that we were only going to hand them out at the festival and not afterwards that we should vote to hand them out. Maybe in the future we're going to change them, but we have them. They don't look bad. Does anybody have any problem with the content? Actually, isn't it 189 towns now? Instead of 188, I think it's good. And it's probably going to go up again it's because gonna, there are a bunch. Well, and things like that are probably going to keep changing. Right. So, you know. Because I know there's a bunch we, coming up. If we did a different one next year, then we just update. Update it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Especially since I already have a pile left over from the Arts Festival. Um, may it be good to kind of notate someplace like 2022 or 2023 so you'd know which ones were people come up to you up to us to ask questions and have About something them. in their hand that's something you could like stamp on there right yeah and that way you could tell if we had updated and they didn't have the most current copy or something like that or we could change the front so we would know like i would say i would like rather see um lakeville symbol on the front you know like this move uh, where the tree is have this moved up and have your on the front have the lakeville symbol but like i say we already have these we got so many other things to do that i i can't get held up in what you should do is just put a rev date down in the corner a what a, a rev date every time you revise it just put like nine oh a revision date okay yeah, work. There. because you know, I don't think you want to change the cover. I think you no. want to keep it branded, keep it so people recognize what it is. Because okay. once you get it out there and they recognize it, you go changing it at, you know, if it's sitting on wherever on a counter or in a rack, people aren't going to recognize it as easily as if you keep the front and then just put a rough date on it. And I guess the town symbol is right on the other side. So oh, you can move the timing when you're going to change things. That would be the time to make all your changes to the content, but I wouldn't make changes so much to the format. Okay. That's just my suggestion. No, you're the expert, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are a couple of minor typos. Okay. Uh, none of them are, I, I think, should, would prevent you from like publishing it or, okay. or handing it out, but just in future when, when you decide to make changes. You know, you can just make them then. Yeah, well, we would go over the whole thing again, like maybe next year 
or whatever, because things could change by next, well, by next mm -hmm. year, we could have something that we could say, wow, look what we did, mm -hmm. would be nice. Mm -hmm. So for now, can we um, somebody make a motion that we can continue to hand this out? I make a motion. <laughs> I make a motion to continue handing them out. Okay, so moved would be good. Yeah. Okay. Um, second. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Great. One. Thing down. So nice. The ones that I that got done upside down, I needed to throw them out. Okay. Next would be the. survey. I spent uh, Friday morning, I mean, I told some of this, some of you have told you this already, but um, Noelle had offered to go to the senior center and do this all out. And then for some reason or another, she couldn't do it. So I had already left all the surveys and the pencils and everything at the senior center. So I'm like, oops. So um, they put them out on the table and I could see it being a fiasco of people not knowing what to do or whatever. So I went to Friday morning coffee at the senior center and um, I sat down to help a woman whose vision was bad and she couldn't see. And she said, well, would you read it to me? And so the whole table participated as I read each question. And I'm just wondering about this too, about some changes. I mean, I don't know if we wanted to put this on SurveyMonkey, if we wanted to put it online or put it on the website. But the ones that I got back from that table, for example, um, number three, rank each of the open space goals in order of importance from one to five. They put one on all five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there was another one too. And then it was just like, well, we can't decide. They're all important. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, maybe not on this one, but our next version, is, should it be, do you think, X is more important than Y instead of doing it one to five because it seemed a little difficult. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I don't think I was, they were asking me questions and I was like, oh, um, you know, that you have to have that decision. But the thing that I got from the whole senior center is that what they're really interested in and what they want to talk about is senior housing. Because mm -hmm. we don't have to really do that. Right. Because right. we don't really have it. Right. Or then when I brought up, because my thought on the senior housing is a lot of people that I know in Lakeville, their children um, can't afford to live here and they move away and that breaks up the family. I'm a social worker in my other life and that breaks up the family dynamic of the children don't grow up near their grandparents and the children aren't here to take care of their parents when they're elderly. That whole family, dy healthy family dynamic kind of a thing is broken up because people's children go down south to college because it's cheaper and then they end up staying there and then they don't live there because they can't afford to come back and buy a house in Lakeville. So not only, I think that was on here too, like first time home buyers or veterans or seniors, all in that um, affordable. Kind of thing. That's really sad. Yeah. Well, those are my social work days. That family dynamic in this mm. country has really changed. Definitely. Anyway, so what do we want to do about this? I guess. Do we want to put it online and keep going with it? Do we want to change, work on changing it up? I kind of feel like some of these things are pulling away from us moving forward. So maybe it's better just to stick with it for now and then next time change it up to a different kind of format with which do you think is do you, which of these do you think is more important or like maybe yes or no rather than having to do the one to five because I even found myself I go one, two and I erase it and like one, two, three, erase it. Again. What about would it be, you know, just fill in what you think? Like just have them write in instead of like you know, what would you want to see in open space? I don't know. Just let them write it in or just then get too vague and they can just write in. Maybe they won't know what to write. So yeah, I, I would think know. it's too vague. Yeah. Uh, just from a sort of like pick writing a survey, like the survey methodology, like it becomes hard to sort of like aggregate the answers. That's true. 
I well, even which two of these do you think are the most important instead of see they're all very close too, like open space one whereas the number four it's either do you like the basketball courts or do you like the playground clear pond it's a little bit different right some of these are very close together meaning yep right because you want to benefit you want to preserve the agriculture you want to pre preserve the conservation status and what you know you want to preserve all that yeah, they put a lot of ones on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This one too. Yeah. It was actually kind of funny. Huh. Also, on number five, order of, it says, Frank H. of the following historic preservation goals in order of importance from one to four. And that says one most important, five least important. Oh, um, right. Okay. okay. And is, and That's is, a typo. And number six is the same thing. It's one to six. There are six, but then it says one to five for most five, to least. Six. Right, so we should have changed at least that before it goes any further, right? Mm -hmm. So just that, those two little changes. Christina, can we put it on the website? Um, yes, isn't there, is there a page already established? Yes, for, yes. So we could certainly yeah. put it on your page. So uh, how do they get it back without having to like drive it in? Well, it's electronic, so they could fill it out. Well, the Survey Monkey, then it just then then there's no sending anything. Um, but if we were to upload a PDF, they would have to email it back to us. So I think we would just create a Survey Monkey and provide a link. Okay. Yeah. So does anybody see anything else to change? Except number six, it would be one to six. And number five, it would be one to four. And just go with what we've got for now. I would say to get a feel of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we've got to start someplace. Right. right. Okay. And we're going to be already, by the time this gets out, we get all the answers back because they come in probably slowly. We're already going to be making decisions. So, mm -hmm. but we can look at a few at a time. Like I say, I got the clear message from the senior center that senior housing was important. Mm -hmm. And then when I brought up the thing about the children can't, you know, their kids can't, have, they, oh yeah, yeah, that too. So, mm -hmm. so I think the housing thing is... Um, coming up as a little more important than maybe I thought it was going to be. I don't know. So far, that's the feeling I'm getting about affordable housing. It almost seems like number seven is your most important question. Right. 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 And then they can write in things. Too. Yeah, just broadly speaking, which category mm -hmm. is most important to you? Okay, so we will, Christina, is that something that you would do was put it on the Survey Monkey? Um, I got to find out who's going to Survey Monkey account in Town Hall because I, I don't personally have one, but um, but I can certainly work on figuring that out. All right, and all we really need to do is change those two things mm -hmm. and get that going. Mm -hmm. Yes? Um, when you do surveys like this, do they ever want you to break down to age demographics, for instance? And they want to know where people are falling in terms of like young voters or middle-aged voters or senior voters. I would think senior housing it would be a clue on the seniors. It might be something that, or even the middle group, but, but maybe not as big a concern. With are the you younger. thinking you want to ask for demographic information? No. What do they do? They ever recommend you do that so that you have a better understanding of where the, the information is coming from? Um. Yeah, I mean there are all there are all sorts of ways to do surveys, but um, but yeah, I mean it just that that's certainly one way. Um, you could ask for demographic information without asking them, who they you know, are. necessarily like who they are. Yeah, right? so like they don't have to provide that. like their name and address, right? They just they, they do have to provide, you know, their twenty to you know their 50, age, yeah, their you know, their range, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. an age range, yeah, yeah their age is that sort of you know. If you're looking to sort of get a sense of that, I mean, and that actually sort of helps you yeah. figure out like who's responding to the survey, right? Because I mean, if you know, if it turns That's, out yeah, that you know ninety percent of your respondents are between the ages of you know twenty five and forty five, 
you know, then you know, you know, that they all want more ball fields at the heart. Well, that the affordable <laughs> housing piece might be underrepresented, right? right? Because right. there's a right. whole population of people that you're not capturing. So, yeah, I think the angel should be on it then. Mm. Okay. All right, so can we take a vote that we agree that Christina looks into the survey monkey with that age criteria and we'll stick with this with those two changes? Mm -hmm. yep. um, so one thing that, sorry, can I yep, just no, add? Okay. So one thing that just might be helpful as, you know, just in terms of wording, um, because I know people are getting sort of hung up on, you know, ranking everything as a one or everything as a two. If, if you... The language right now says rank each of the following, but if we said rank order each of the following one through five, like I don't know if that would sort of make things more clear. Well, at this point, at one equals most important and five equals least important in capital letters. No, I, I, I know it's a little bit semantic. Um, you know, because I, it, in my mind, I think it's clear, but if it's if it's already causing confusion for some people. Well, like I say, that was just one table full of people. So, right. And okay. Let's, so we'll leave it. Okay. We'll just change as little as possible sure. and go with this and like, then we see what happens. And if it really continues to be a problem, then we'll change up the whole. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a motion to... Um, Ask Christina to look into putting this on a survey monkey with those two changes, number five, one to four, and number six, one to six. In the age range. I mean, in the age yeah, range. The demographic yeah. range. So moved. Second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Things done. That was it. Uh, well, I guess there is one more. Did I bring them with me? Yeah, I did. I didn't need to miss out. So, I mean, but you can get it right off of the um, coalition website. Um, but we also voted that it was only for the festival. So I did the same night that we had our um, meeting before last, I went to the park commission and handed this out. I think I already said this at the last meeting that I handed it out. So, um, mostly for committees maybe and people that want to apply for the funding this is really important so how about um does anybody have an objection that we continue to hand this out although i gotta say one thing i did note on um, these two on the community preservation act that i um handed out um the one from northbridge and acton both they don't put nose in Hmm. They put dashes, I, and I didn't quite know why that was. In both both plans, and these two plans I got from the coalition website, they were ones that they suggested we look at when we were writing our plans. But on um, page ten of the North Bridges one, if you look, mm -hmm. yeah. they don't put no. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. And the one. The active and the active one, same thing. And the active one is on page seven. But the coalition one does have no. This was straight from the coalition. Yeah. Didn't I fix that one? Because there's a much better copy someplace. Okay. Yeah, well, these are the, that's why I have these because they're the rejects. So that's <laughs> how nice it was. Um, you did fix these very nicely, but these are the, the old ones, but they all still say no. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I wonder why that is. Mm, I'd keep the no there, keep it in. Yeah, well, myself, yeah. I like the no because they're green and red. Right, right. exactly. Right. You know, so, and these other ones are all just black and white. So maybe that's why, maybe the no one that stood out so well if they're in black and white and it kind of jumps off the page. If, uh, yeah, the one fiber that I handed out in the rain still are in a plastic bag somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Barbara did make this look way nicer. So, so we're going to stick with the no? Yeah. And I think so. can we continue?
continue to, can we have a motion that we continue to pass this out so, so moved. moved okay <laughs> second so moved. Mm -hmm. all in favor aye. Aye. aye all right so see we have three things that's good okay so we kind of looked at this last time but we didn't have a quorum so we couldn't really discuss or vote on it i don't think there's anything to vote on um and there are people here that weren't here last time so has everybody seen the opinion from town council about why we need to be careful with our personal emails should be in the book in the book and did i just give you that book in the front jacket yep So I don't believe that any of this like concerns going backwards. I think this concerns going forward and why we need to be careful, especially when we're replying to all. I think we've been all kind of reminding that on the emails anyway. she thinks it's seven o'clock it did start at seven didn't it no it's six thirty yes okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm gonna read the whole agenda <laughs> that's all right I'm i are you up to date just voted when we had while well, everybody's reading that i'll uh, bring you up today is that on these three things that we passed out at the festival you were there but if you remember prior to the festival we voted in the hallway out there that we were only going to okay these for the festival yeah so now we have with nothing any changes to this one really right except that if we're going to next year when we do a new one we'll put a revision date on it but we voted to go forward with passing this one out okay um we voted to ask christina to get us on survey monkey with age question you know mm -hmm. you're answering this not personal information but you between 15 and 25 or whatever with two um changes this one said read um importance from one to five and there's only four so we change one to four and this one was one to five and it's really six so those two changes and Christina's gonna look into getting it on a survey monkey and leave it how it was. And I did talk about it, I did that at the senior center and they were doing all ones on everything. So instead of ranking it, so maybe next time around we might change it, but for now, instead of wasting time because we wanna go forward, we're gonna go with that one. And on the in the notebooks that I passed yeah. out with um, Northbridge and Acton, they both, they're in black and white on their plans, yeah. but they put, they don't put no, they put little lines. So we decided to stick with the color and the yes and no, because they red yeah. and green really. So yeah. Yeah. that's all we really I'm did sorry. so far. No, that's okay. That was... So now we're up to reviewing the town council advice. How is everybody? Anybody have any questions? It's kind of cut and dry. Just be mm -hmm. we'll be careful. That's mm -hmm. all. Okay. All right. Procedure on how the community should act and receive advice from the coalition. Discussion and possible vote. Um, 
we need to take advice from everybody. I mean, I've always, and you can disagree with me, but I've always been of the mind and opinion over my history of just listening to what everybody has to say. You listen to what the town has to say. You listen to what the coalition has to say. You listen to the whole general public, even though they might be driving you crazy sometime about what they have to say. And then you take it all and you, I mean us as a committee takes it all and we as a committee decide which of those opinions that we think is to the best benefit of Lakeville. So we need to listen to everybody, but we need to, we can't all individually be doing it. We need to be deciding what kind of questions we want to ask as a committee and how we're going to get that information there and how we're going to get it back. Um, so how do we want to do that? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's easy enough when we have a question and we want to say, we, let's ask the coalition is who's going to do it. And I have basically thought before, Michelle's not here tonight, so maybe it's not something we have to decide tonight. But um, I think we need to designate, whether it be me as the chairman or Michelle as the designee, because she's the vice chair, mm -hmm. of who's going to ask that question. But it's going to be a question from the committee, and the answer's going to come back to the whole committee. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Because I just think it's important and sometimes I know it's really difficult especially when you're dealing with the public I mean we, I've dealt with people in the past that they go on and on and on and on and that little nugget of that best information is like somewhere in the middle <laughs> you have to be careful that you don't you know miss it but I just really think it's important that because that's what we're supposed to be doing what see what everybody thinks mm -hmm. right. I notice some towns have their own email, like cpc at lakeville.ma. Couldn't we do something like that? And then whoever is going to be the liaison can just send it from that email. Is that something that could be set up? Um, yeah, I'm sure that it could. Um, I don't think that it, it wouldn't probably be possible for like the whole committee to have access to that email. It no, it doesn't have to be. Right, right. Like designate. You know, yeah. like Nancy and whoever, Michelle or whoever's going to be the Or it can go out from the town. It could go out. You have a town email. It could go out from you. We could ask you if you would send it, and then you would give us the response, and we would bring it up at the meeting. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yep. Um, I think it, it would probably be more appropriate for it to come from Mark. Um, but yes, your, but your bigger point stands, which is that like someone from the town could certainly like facilitate that if that's what's helpful for you. All right. Mm -hmm. I just noticed him to be a little overwhelmed. That's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, if we need to track our correspondence, I think that's a very efficient way to do it. Um, and I think one, like she had said, one or two people, the chair, the vice chair, right, would have access to that. That that's. I just think that's just a very establish a, like a CPC email. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can reach out. So we, this, the town outsources all of its IT um, stuff, but, um, but I'm in pretty regular contact with that person. So I can work on getting that set up for you. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you'd be happy to do that. That person is my neighbor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you okay. might see him before me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. You, you want to make a motion? Oh, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, checking it off already. All right. Uh, a motion to have Christina look into getting a CPC account um, so that we will be able to ask questions and get replies. Would anybody be able to? Would it just, it wouldn't be just between us and the coalition. Anybody would be able to ask a question on that? Yeah. We would we would put it on your page on the website that you know if you have questions or comments or right. you know whatever please reach out to CPC at it's just a nice little access of way to get information right. in and out <laughs> yes yeah and then you'll have to decide who the designee is going to be that's going to okay. maintain that account okay all right are there still computers at the town hall that anybody can sign on to 
there's a computer yep. in the conference room, in the select board's conference room. Okay. Um, All right, I can still sign on, actually. I think I can anyway. Okay. All right, so we would see. Yeah, we can okay. look at, yeah, we'll, okay. we're gonna, we'll have to do some digging, but we can figure that out. Okay. Yep. Okay, Did you get a so second? Did you get a second on the motion? Did there wasn't. It? No, there wasn't even a so moved no. yet. Okay. You weren't really done. You went off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna pull you back to center here. Well, right. Let me start well, again. I'm just thinking this whole thing is not just a deal point. Let's make it so that we can. Right. Right. Okay with everybody. Okay. So moved. No. Do you want to repeat the motion? Okay. The motion quick? is to have Christina look into setting up some kind of. Uh, way we can correspond with the coalition or the general public or anybody that wants to ask us a question through the town hall rather than through our personal emails. So, so moved. moved. Okay. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Very good. All right. So reviewing that, did everybody have a chance to look at all the plans? They kind of drive me crazy because I like one thing from one, another thing from another one, and another thing from another one. So um, my thought was, and I said it before everybody got here, but I think we've done some of this already. I, you know, I keep thinking like, when are we going to get started? When are we going to get started? But I think we already started because if you look at Northbridge's one in the introduction or um, on the table of contents, actually, that's what I've been looking at a lot to set up the table of contents on that one. Um, the community preservation committee formation and responsibilities. Well, and I don't know, Sue, did you put in here what the date was when, when the town established this committee long before we passed the act? And, um, you mean the bylaw? The bylaw, yes, I do. Sorry. I can't think of it. Because off the top of my head. if you look, if we did community preservation, formation, and responsibility, the committee was formed a long time ago. But it's all here. I mean, this is what we passed. It's the bylaw. So right, which the... I think that there should be somewhere. In here, I guess where everything fits. Also, Sue's overview is perfect for like an introduction or just what it says, an overview. We don't have to go by any of the three of these table of contents. We can make our own. We could do, you know, mission statement, overview, um, formation and responsibilities. It's done. I guess I get a little antsy about, you know, we've had all these meetings, and it's kind of, it's, but it's already here, some of it. I mean, we still have a long way to go. My other thought is when we do it to actually put in the book, when we agree to something that, yes, this is it, this is where we want it to go in here in this order, should I order a ream of like a cream color paper or something so that, because we're gonna get a little nuts. I think in the future, figuring what's done and what we're still working on. So I was thinking if I ordered like a ream of what, a cream, not yellow, but a cream color, a different color paper. You don't want it to be too colored because then it's hard to read, you know? And also, can we even, and maybe it's me because I need glasses, but I noticed like in Michelle's, the print is kind of small. And let's see, Acton's is all right, but I guess I really did like Northbridge's print. Maybe somewhere between Northbridge and Acton. I don't know, how would we feel about the print? Because we need to decide so that's organized. So we don't have some pages that are really big and some pages are really small. And I would, don't even know what you call it. I just know it seemed to me that it was a lot easier for me to read Northbridge's, but then that's probably because I need glasses. Do you mean the font? Because I look it around there. Well, I like the bigger font. <laughs> you, you think it's the, you mean the font also? Mm -hmm. Not just the, 
the yeah, size because, and, yeah. they don't have if you notice the one that michelle uses has little feet on it and it's difficult to read one's a serif font the other one's a sans serif font and the ones without the little feet on it are much easier to read because there isn't as much i want to say jump but for lack of better word jump on the page all right um, so i don't know what little feet means the little see like how the a's the capital a's have got little oh, oh, oh okay yep yep i see and at the ones acton does not yeah. and maybe uh north bridges are too big do they have feet nope no no feet no feet <laughs> I don't know, I just like the size of the North Bridge. It just seemed to me easier to read. I would agree with you. Barbara? I myself find it uncomfortably big. Okay. I like the... The middle one? The, yep. The active one? The active one. All right. About, but the, maybe the spacing could be a little different? Yep, and I'm not a fan of that Tahoma font that they used. I'm, I'm a, I like like an aerial or a Helvetic. I think that that's really easy to, to be. That's just me. That would be like the font that was in the brochure. Our brochure. The active one? No. 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 All right. Let's try it again. All the right. size. What are you doing? Oh, I don't really know. Size. Um, Acton is good for size. For font, I think I would, an Arial or Helvetica would be a better choice. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Which is used on the brochure. Right, let's look at the brochure again. She's our expert. The size of Acton and the font of this is called what? Either an Arial or a Helvetica. Uh, Arial, I get. Okay. <laughs> What's the yeah. other one? Yeah. Helvetica. You better probably stick to Arial because Helvetica can be a and licensing issue. That's okay. It's a whole other ballgame. Kathleen? Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's almost, it just looks like one step down, maybe. From and I, I think the way they spaced it out on the North Bridges one maybe, maybe makes it look look how much space there is between all the words and everything. Right. Mm. Yep. And so I think that has something to do with it. So too. you know, else has something to do with. I'm sorry, not to. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Is that the justification? The North Bridge one is yeah. block justified. The other one is left justified, which makes the page, the side of the the right side of the page, not even. So that. It should be the same size. What we're talking about is the size of Acton, mm -hmm. the font Arial, and Justified, which means it's even on both sides. Yep. Okay. Block Justified. Pardon? Block, Block Justified. Just Block? Yes. Okay. Block Justified. Okay, what's everybody else think? Mm -hmm. I mean, I. Listen to Barbara. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> you talk about the spacing of the words compared to Northbridge to Acton. Like, so do you like the spacing? So you know, the other one very yeah, too spacey. Yeah, and then the other one is it too close or is yeah, it does look a little. How do you, what is that called? Yeah. <laughs> the wedding between the lines. No, but I think how close they are. Uh, See how the Northbridge one with so much space between every word. Mm -hmm. And then the kerning, and that'll change too when you when you block justify it, you'll end up. I will pull it apart a little. Usually, more. That's right. Depending, oh, right. right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But here again, it's probably done in Microsoft Word, which is very unforgiving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So going forward when we're doing pages that are going to be done does everyone agree with the size of actins the font aerial like the brochure which i thought was pretty easy to read um and block justified mm -hmm. yep. yes yes we take a vote so moved second all in favor aye aye, aye. Wow. Kind of funny. Oh, 
I'm glad we put working on the plan on the agenda because I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, I think that gives us a lot of grace, correct? We're working on the plan. And these are the decisions that we have to make when we're working on the plan. So, so what should we do about when we think there's a page that's finished? I mean, I think that we shouldn't vote until the whole thing's finished, but as we go, we like this section and we're gonna move on to the next session about it being a different color paper. So are we typing it as we go? Yes. Okay. Well, you so already did, and like I say, if we decide to do some of the stuff that we already did, it's already done. On the overview? Yeah, on the overview, you could probably just go on your computer and put it on the size of it. <laughs> well, Barbara can tell you probably what the size is, right? Probably. Um, the font area and block justify it, right? So, so we just need to distinguish what's done when we start putting it in the notebook. So it's, well, it's going to be different because every font is a different size. It's not straight across the board. So I gotcha. need to do a 12 by 13 and see how it works okay. out. So, so do you want me to take my overview and well let's talk let's decide that's what we want first and vote on it but um when it's what do you think about the color <laughs> what do you think about how we can distinguish what's done and what's not like a between yellow and like an ivory color paper i, I mean i think from a or another way to distinguish this is done I, yeah, I, I guess I'm just not sure that you're going to be able to, for example, finish the historic preservation section, you know, without consideration of open space and recreation and whatever else. I, but I don't mean done for the finish of the plan. I mean, done to go back to historical with it and say, this is what we've completed and now what, do you, what would you like to say about it? Because I think after we do a section, especially on like historic, all those historic open space, uh, recreation and all that, we need to go back to the, to the boards to review what we've done and make sure they agree. But okay. I just mean for our own sake. So that kind of distinguishes what's been worked on and what's not, unless we all just keep it up to ourselves to figure it out. Um, Amy, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I'm working on an open space plan now. Right, and how do you tell? What's? I mean, I, I think there needs to be a person. A what? There, there needs to be a person that is sort of responsible for sort of compiling and keeping track of a single document. I think it will, it will be difficult if you're working on, you know, half a dozen different You want documents. one voice. Right. You know, it's going to sound that, like it's one person talking, not right. seven of us talking. And then the revision date would be on the top or bottom of the yep. document. Whenever yes, and then someone would be responsible for updating it and keeping track maybe of it. Maybe we could even yep. have, a, a, instead of a different color, maybe we could just have a divider where things that we're finished working on can be on that side of the divider rather than yep. be a different mm -hmm. color page. All right, I'm just trying to distinguish sure. when we done what we're going to do on one section. Yeah, and we want to the next one that we don't get confused of. And it doesn't mean we couldn't go back and change it. And it doesn't mean that we're probably not going to do a final vote until it's done about the final vote about this is really it and it's done. And do we all agree that we covered mm -hmm. all these hundred million things? <laughs> well, you know, you're writing yes. the open space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm writing it right now. <laughs> yes. I mean, you think just from an organization perspective, if, if you just have a revision date, that you continue to update, then you'll always know that you're working on the most current version. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. anyway, that's kind of why I have passed out the notebook so that we can mm -hmm. keep it. Okay. Do we have an estimated time frame as to when we want to have this done, the plan? No. Uh, we did, I think, in the original thing, in the original. Uh, that was presented at was that presented at town meeting, Christina, in the original thing. Um, just looking. 
Um, I mean, develop and approve. So the, the draft document said develop and approve a community preservation plan in September. Yeah, no, well, right. <laughs> <laughs> we have good intentions. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was kind of impossible anyways because right. we weren't formed until the beginning of August. Right. So. Right. And, and I think that um, going forward and looking at some of the other ones that, um, and I don't know if anybody's looked at metal bottles, but um, I had asked Sue to go and get the first one of Middleboroughs because the one of Middleboroughs was like bound and fabulous and it had all the things they had done and it was like it wasn't there. It's not us right here in the home beginning. Um, so I didn't think it was appropriate because it was just too. And I think they had they hired somebody, a professional, to do it. Oh, we right. just need to get something together and done so that. Yeah, I have their, their first original one, their draft. And it was not that, is that it? Yeah. Just did. a few pages? Mm, I don't know, about 10, 12. Right. As compared to some of that, whatever. I, that's all we need to get started. Mm -hmm. And once we start doing things, we can always refine it as we go along. We just need, I don't want to say a simple plan, because it's not simple, but, you know, a plan to get us started. And I, I don't think it would, I think we can probably maybe by the first, maybe January. Because yeah. that's another thing about um, our meetings. I think we're having a hard time getting everybody together two weeks. I hated that it was kind of a waste last time because we didn't have a quorum. Mm. So I would rather try harder to, to get a quorum if it means maybe not, you know, not meeting every two weeks. That's just not been possible to get the people together. So, I was hoping tonight that maybe we can figure out some work and send everybody away with some stuff to come back with and um, we'll vote on maybe a couple of things that we can already say this is done and um, come back maybe early December because the holidays are coming mm -hmm. people have plans it's just really hard to get everybody together and I think come January when we're under the gun, we could meet a couple of more times because we got past the holidays and things kind of quiet down in January and we could really hop to it. But let's try to get done what we can in the next couple of months and get through the holidays because everybody has their other regular. I find that really hard with those of us that are on other committees. It's just difficult. It's even difficult to get a meeting date. So. so so you say open space are we asking the open space committee to write this or do we write it and then share it with them their They're goals we're going to use yes. their goals we're i'm in the process of right now writing the open space plan we had to update it i mean it's it's gone real close so i could give you our goal because i think we had to revise our goals than what's in here so i can like the next time i can at least bring that if you want i would just say that yeah. for an example wondering you know do the committees write their page or do we write it? I don't know. Yeah. well they <clears throat> give us ideas and maybe we can refine it to fit into yeah. some of these spaces because um i think that michelle's copy a lot of the stuff was copied out of the open space plan and i think we should use the open space plan as a reference but i don't think we need to take their whole pages of lake those 24 000 square feet and miles and this and this and all those facts out of there we basically need to describe generally and then their goals mm -hmm. and then when we're looking for a criteria how we're going to judge projects we're going to have, did they hit that goal? Is, is, does this project hit that goal and this goal and this goal? And this goal? Mm. So, and I think the same with historical. Right. There's just some corrections to make. Mm. But the general overall. Right. Plus, we have some long range plans as a commission that we're trying to. 2020 kind of blew everything out of the water in terms of certain things that we had planned to do. Well, COVID set everybody back. Yeah, because on the North Bridge one, um, 
it just talks generally about you know open space in in the watershed what things are important um, North Bridges experienced a significant increase in residential growth and development. Sound familiar? Um, straining its open space and natural resources. And so um, that importance in their goals. The goals are pretty, um, protect and preserve open space. Um, there was one I liked that, um, said about um, open space and preservation goals from the Acton one, preserve the remaining elements of Acton's rural character. That falls more in our category because mm. slowly but surely it's fading away. So I like that part about preserve what's remaining, not mm -hmm. just say preserve our mm -hmm. rural character because some of that horse, some of those horses are out of the barn. Mm. So, um, including natural man-made features that contribute to Acton's character, such as open fields, agricultural land, woodlands, waterways, scenic vistas. So I did like some, did you look at the Actons, some mm. of the Actons? I did. It's good. Yeah. The Acton historical resources talk, is talking about the same type of thing, things that are that are lost. So I think you generally relate to Lakeville and then put your specific things in after. Okay, so can we decide in the very, in the beginning of our sense, we already have a mission statement. I noticed nobody put their mission statement on these. Any of them? And even though there's an introduction in the uh, Northbridge ones, there's nowhere in their table of contents that says introduction. I wasn't crazy about the introduction anyway. I did like. Um, Community Preservation Act in Northbridge, and I liked the uh, I liked the coin that shows the different resources there. So it doesn't say the percentages at all. It just shows it doesn't doesn't anywhere say this is 10, 10, 10. Right, five and sixty-five. Right, right. So that needs to be different. But I think the thing that Sue already worked on. The CPA overview. I don't know why we can't use that because it's done. But I mean, if you want me to work on that and do it kind of as the introduction page and then the CPA funding requirements, I mean, I, I'd work, I, I don't mind working on that. And then okay. And I, I just, just feel like um, the bylaw should be in there. It's not that long. Does anybody have any objection to the bylaw being in there? It's going to, change. It's it's going to change, though, possibly. A town mm -hmm. meeting? Well, right, so we put the new one in. True. Right? Mm -hmm. How do you see it changing? Well, the they're cha authority. they're changing the high housing authority part. They're putting a whole criteria in there. Does everybody have a copy of the bylaw? Mm. Not with me, I don't think. I think they have it at home. Yeah, I, don't, I might have it at home, but I don't have it at home. But it also spells out the duties. You're talking about this one from page five? Article eight. Section one establishment. Okay. 
but I'll make oh, copies. That's no, that's housing authority. Yes. How about no? Right, right. No, that, this that must already be done. the town meeting. So this article. needs a date. So how about for the next meeting? I'll get a date. The next meeting will already have the new one, but the original date because the new one, the original date will still hold. What year was it? I should know it, but I don't. 2019. Mm. I mean, maybe we can just use it in the appendix. But it's something. I, I guess I'm looking for stuff that's already done. Mm. Um. So, if, if I could weigh in. Yeah. Um. Just sort of as a strategy for yeah. the next meeting or two. Yes. Um. In terms of deliverables, what you could think about is maybe, you know, sort of soliciting the sort of most up-to-date goals from each of the sort of independent committees, right? So from open space and from historic preservation and from the Parks Commission, um, you know, and we could compile those. Um, and then there was also some language in that, sort of original schedule that yeah. we discussed around the development and approval of this CPP. Um, it includes some language that says, the CPC shall hold properly noticed informational public hearings at a minimum of once per year to provide opportunities for the CPC and general public to deliberate and prioritize community needs to be articulated in the CPP draft. Um, so you could think about maybe scheduling some sort of meeting. I think you're probably right that the holidays sort of, you know, will monopolize people's time, but, um, but we could work on the plan in the coming months and then plan to have a meeting, sort of a public meeting in January, maybe. Um, and in that way you could solicit some public input, um, based on the goals that you've already Collected. Um, and then in the meantime, I mean, the rest of this, you know, sort of introductory stuff, um, you know, the funding requirements, um, you know, and, and how people, you know, the application process, once you open it up, like those are all things that, you know, we can be putting in draft form now. Um, and a lot of that information already exists. So, you know, I think um, if somebody wants to sort of take on that piece of it um, and, you know, sort of find all of those pieces and put them together while the respective groups sort of pull together their most current goals, like, you know, it would be fairly easy, I think, you know, come December to, you know, put everything into a single document. I, I would be, I would work with you to do that. Okay. 2005. I just looked it up. Oh, so 2005. That's when it, yeah, okay. the Bible was passed in 2005. All right. So maybe it only needs to be in the uh, appendix. But yeah, why don't Sue and I work on getting these beginning pieces together? Um, your most current goals. Mm -hmm. Your most current goals. I'll talk to the Parks Department. Do you want me to take any committees to contact? Um, why don't you? Why don't you do the Parks Department? You okay. could do that. Okay. Okay. How's that? And Sue and I will work on putting together what we already have, and yeah. maybe the outlines and pick out certain pieces from these ones like I think we've already done but we're all going back and forth but I think um like I say your overview that you worked on it's already on the web page mm -hmm. is, is pretty good and we can decide later I'll get a copy of the um, bylaw for everyone but it does spell out the duties to and it's what all the people voted on also it's not like we're making it up it's already there mm -hmm. um and we'll get all the current goals. And I, what I didn't find in any of these was their applications. 
so maybe we can look for um, what Middleborough has for now. Does Middleborough have what their application looks like? And something we need to decide whether it's going to be a one or two step process. I thought we said two step. Two step is probably the yeah. best. Well, some yeah. of them say two step, but since we have a small, I'm just throwing this out because somebody said it to me, I can't remember who, that it's not like we have millions of dollars to spend in intricate projects, but um, maybe we just need one. Although the two-step process is a simple one so you can eliminate somebody before they have to do the work and hire the exactly. engineer and do yeah. the plan and all that. Yeah. So right. uh, I got that feeling from this committee. But then I had talked to somebody else who can't remember who had said, well, you know, it's kind of, you just get started and it's small, maybe we just need one, but Mm -hmm. I think there are a bunch of um, examples on the coalition website mm -hmm. as well as That's far as the applications. Yeah. Yeah. I believe there are several. I think probably sometimes we have applications on the line too. If we that right. Way. So maybe we just gather some for the next meeting. Yeah, and if there's nothing the same, we can't download something off the <laughs> uh, coalition website as long as I get it to put in the packet and hand it out and put it on the agenda. So that was staying in the realm of yeah. how it's supposed to work. There, we should probably like look at towns that are similar to Lakeville for their applications rather than you know, like the city of Boston or anything like yeah. that. Like Hanson, Plumpton, all those areas, yeah. see what they have. Makes sense. And I, I, these ones that I took off the coalition, uh, coalition website and put in here, I mean, they were plenty more, but it's hard enough sometimes to go back and forth and look at uh, which everything, what they did, but they're similar. I think they must have gone after something that, like if they had, did the coalition have like a set up like the state does that sometime? Here's how your, you know, bylaw should look, or this is what it should have in it or whatever, because I thought that these, couple had some of this had the same language yes i think they all kind of but yeah use each other's <laughs> yeah yeah i noticed that too yeah even i went out to Stockbridge and out the other end of the state and you see a lot of the same right. verbiage on the pages yeah but i mean if it's applicable why not right, right. right. we don't need to reinvent the wheel exactly. we need to put together our first plan and get it together so that we can move forward so that we can start looking at projects and we need especially that criteria I did look, we should especially look at the criteria. Mm -hmm. So when we start getting a project, like a checklist of the criteria. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, Northboro says that they have a pre-application process. Yeah, I think to that determine project too. eligibility, followed by a project application. Yeah. That's so when they would have to go and hire. Yeah. If they say, okay, you do fit within the criteria mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. us to, you know. Let's mm -hmm. see what you can put together. Yeah. Oh, and here's the other thing that we hadn't talked about Middleborough won't even look at somebody that doesn't have any other funding then, not, is not relying. Do we want people to rely totally on our funding or we want the applicants to have other revenue? I forget what the percentage is for Middleborough, but they won't even consider funding a project unless they have some funding from or support from somewhere else. Yeah, well, I think that's reasonable because we can't fund everything. But if we can help in a way, but yeah, but that would put them higher up at the list. Look, yeah. we have a, this little yeah. grant, and we need this yeah. much from you to add to right. that to make the money go further. Yeah, definitely need funding. I think that's... And I don't know how they. I think they worded that right out. I don't think they beat around the bush at all. I think they were like, we want to see. You, you know, some, like you're saying, like they would have to have fifty percent of the funding before they would be, be considered. I think it's even more than that. Exactly. Well, yeah. oh, that's why they've done so much. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think we want to go tell them exactly yeah. how much they have to have, but that will put them higher up in the list if they had other supporting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Millbrow just acquired that farm. Mm -hmm. Like how much it was, a couple million was Yeah, it? but it was from everywhere. Like it was. Everybody was. But the CPA funds, I think they put in, I don't know, 700,000 or something like that. That's awesome. <laughs> the Pocony farm. Yeah. 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 yeah, they just yeah. deserve it. I know. And, and I think that will make our money go further. Yeah. You know? Right. 
but I don't think we need to come up with a percentage. I just say we'll put you higher up on the list to get the funding if you have other sure. support. I mean, you know, there's the nature. Con hey, the Nature Conservancy gave us twenty five thousand dollars to match when we got our MVP grant. So mm -hmm. there are other mm -hmm. agencies out there that will. I think it just shows that they're doing their work and they really want it too. Yeah, and I just don't want a handout. They're willing <laughs> yeah. to, you know, right. pull yeah. a plan together, and then that makes right makes the money go a lot further. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. And the gift part. Both mm. of these plans had a gift part. I didn't understand the gift part, really. Gifts to the Community Preservation Fund. Well, maybe someone's passing they, in their will, they'll say, you know, there's, I want to give someone to maybe this. I want to preserve, help preserve, whatever. Right, but do, um, saying, do we need to put that in our plan so that we are eligible? No. I guess it'd be nice. Why not? We know. Right, right. And hey, I think remember they, us. I think they, and it's in both of them about the gifts. Well, can't someone just donate money to it as well? Well, I think that's what they say. I think that's yeah. right. This like, plan's given them the opportunity. The town of, yeah, the town so. of La Northbridge can accept monetary gifts to the Community right. Preservation Fund. It can be designated for specific purposes. All right, I'm giving you this. Ten thousand dollars to put towards open space. Mm -hmm. um, gifts may be made in a variety of forms, including cash and securities. Tax deductible to the full extent and allowable under the Internal Revenue Code. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, that for more information, please <laughs> please contact the committee chair. I wouldn't yeah. know what to talk. Go talk to Todd. I think it's the same. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that's the same wording, isn't it? I think it is the same wording. Yeah. And the only difference is the town name and um, the actually put it in the plan or the way of yeah, um, they have a town. But we, I mean, the town gives some grants fund, but I don't think I want it to go into that. I think maybe if you identify that we can accept it, it'll go into our, that they need to point out it goes into our coffers. The difference right. is that Northborough says yeah. uh, for more information contact the committee chair and, and has a CPA, CPC um, website but yeah. the other one Acton says that um, you can go to the guide to giving and it lists it for, for documentation and stuff like that. I think um, Christina do and you know, Acton. did North Bedford have a gifting do you know on the CP? It, to be perfectly honest with you, I really don't recall. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't part of setting up like the actual funds. Um, but I mean, it, it's done in lots of communities across the state. You can accept funds. It's you know, it's, it does not go into like general fund coffers. It belongs to the CPC and right. I just um, made myself a note. I'll ask Todd. Mm -hmm. But the language is. It's all sort of pro forma, right? I mean, like, this is, it's all, you know, this process is sort of well established. Um, you know, the only thing that really changes within the community are the projects that, you know, that you decide to sort of spend them on. Right. Um, yeah, but this isn't, you know, Todd could certainly answer This all is informational. Questions. So it being in the plan, yeah. people that might want to read the plan when it comes out, go, oh, it's what? You know, this is an option. Mm -hmm. Does Lakeville have a, a uh, guide to giving? Town of Lakeville guide to giving? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it. Uh, I think certain, I've never heard certain of that, like the library has a gift account where people have left memorial money mm -hmm. and some of them are specified where, where they can and how they can be spent. Some don't have any specification. So. And I had from John Deacus a gift to Grant's account when we got Betty's neck. He gave us X amount, I don't even remember what it was, X amount of dollars too that was in that special one. I don't think there's an overall but guide to giving in Lakeville. The difference but. would be that it's held by the town and the treasurer actually gives our director a running list of what the accounts are total up to. And then we have another gift account that was stocks and bonds, which are invested and we can take, at, when it reached a certain level, then we could take so much out of it. And we have been, and we've been using it for children's, it's a Savas gift. And it was, is used basically for children's programming, things above the budget that we 
can't afford to do, but the, the summer reading program sometimes is one of the big beneficiaries or the STEM project, things like that with science and children. So that's what we as trustees specified that it would be used as for the library, but that's different because it's held through the town. The town wouldn't actually be holding ours the same way, would it? Is ours sort of outside the town? I. It's, it's in the town, but it's not like the t gifts aren't yeah. like um, the revenue that you use. Right. It's not something right. that can so, be rolled over. It's the specific. Yeah, this Right, so if you look just, at like the like the animal shelter, I'll use as an example because they have a, a Gibson Grants account, and the and there are lots of people from all over, not just in Lakeville, that contribute to the Lakeville Animal Shelter for various reasons. Um, and those funds go into that account and have to be used for the animals, whether it's for food or veterinary services or whatever. Um, but in terms of sort of like the mechanics of how you create that, like I, we're, we're starting to get into territory that isn't really my realm. So um, that those would be questions that I could certainly ask the treasurer and also Todd. Um, yeah. I'll actually show Todd this that's in these two plans and see what he says, if it's appropriate to go on ours and we'll just put it in. <laughs> Yeah, I could see somebody saying, you know, if they're interested in giving an, a gift, how is that managed? Let's show me some mm -hmm. guidelines on it. Or, yep. You know, something to that effect. Yes, and that would not be new territory for Todd. And, <laughs> and it would not be new territory for Lakeville, because I mean, the, the animal shelter does it. It's just a question of sort of the mechanics of how you do it. How you yeah. do it, right. Okay. So. Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right. So we need to decide. Oh, we need to approve our minutes. I found a typo. Mm -hmm. At the very beginning, they left you out as attendance. Oh, right. I wrote that on mine because you already told me that. Mm. In the minutes, I, they didn't put me as being here. Oh. So what we would do is approve with the with as change. amended. Yeah, as amended. Yeah. 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 August second. I do. I thought it was one after that. Yeah. Photograph in the front of this. Where did it come from? I... John Deacus gave me this and said I could use it any way I wanted. Interesting. Now, where is this? It's Betty's Thank you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was wow. a little too minute asking. That's a pretty big, it's a pretty big open space. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Do you know what year that was that was taken? Uh, oh, God. Um, I want to say in the late 1990s, hmm. he gave it to me right after our acquisition of Betty's Snack. So that was 2002, but I don't think it was taken that year. But it was a drought year because you can see the narrows and you can see also another little spot in this corner here, how low the water is. On this end, yeah. So is the barn, peach barn here? Yeah. In this corner? Yeah. Okay, so I know where I just know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I never knew about this piece of land over here. This piece. What is that? That's the other field. I There's two fields at Betty's Neck. When you look at the big field at Betty's Neck, it actually opens out into a second field. Just a neat picture. Anyhow, I just thought it might make a nice cover for our screen. But we don't have to decide that now. Somebody else might come up with something else. 
So how was, has everybody reviewed the minutes? Mm -hmm. Motion to approve as, as amended. amended. So moved. So, second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next meeting. A challenge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Who has meetings the first? Anybody have meetings the first Tuesday in December? What's the date? It's December 6th. Mm -hmm. I have that reserved for CPA. You do? Yeah. Wow. Well, we set them at the beginning, like the first Tuesday. And oh, yeah. We had to talk about it. Yeah, and then, then, it, then, it, then, it, got, it, yeah, and then yeah. it got set astray. Mm -hmm. You have meetings of the first Thursday? Yeah. So I'll, I'll be yeah. First yeah. Tuesday? I'm open. I'm all set for this first Tuesday of December. I'm, I'm open, yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. All it's right. The second, it was the second, third, and fourth I had problems with, but okay. most of those don't happen in December. Anymore. All right, so it might not be here. It might have to be at the senior, so I will fix wherever. Mm -hmm. But okay, so our next meeting will be December 6th, mm -hmm. 6 30 or 7. Well, what do you think? I like 6 30. I like 6 30 because like it's already 10 of 8. Yeah. We started okay. a half hour later. Yeah. I agree. You could try for the police station, but if not, it'll be at the COA. Yep. Yeah. At 6.30, the day before call holiday. day. And does that, does that give the committee's time? Is, is that sufficient in terms of being able to produce like yes, our goals? I'm, I'm pretty much done okay. with my goals. I just gotta get a better copy. You and where is the so historical commission? Yeah. Where yeah. they're yeah. all still going over the stuff and trying yeah. to make sure that it's historically accurate. Right, so there are no, no other meetings this month, right? No. Okay. We have we don't have a huge thing like Clinton had Barbara, with a lot of designations um, in terms of um, size, you know, yeah. aerial, yeah. and yeah. register. Yeah, yeah, I'll just that. type it all up. Two sites and one building and a site. So it's oh most of the stuff is what's on the inventory for the I'm state. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. All right. So nothing on the 16th. You didn't? No. That's not confirmed. Okay. Let everybody enjoy the holidays and do the work. Work on this stuff, you'll get a vehicle from that. They're working at home on everything. I think this was emailed. I think I read this. John's for that John Beckett space before, so she's really good at doing it. And plus, she has a major in English and Latin and all that. Oh, she's been so helpful. Yeah, she's really good. Sit down with Sue and pull out some good things from the other ones that we can agree on instead of going back and forth and looking at this and that. Some of the outstanding stuff that was uh, must have come from the coalition and they must have nobody's reinventing the wheel on some of these newer ones so we don't need to either we just right. need to get going right so all right motion to adjourn so, so moved. moved second all in favor aye, aye. aye. yay